Hello there and welcome to this exciting lesson in Revit architecture. In this lesson, we are going to look at roofs in Revit and to be specific, we are going to look at the standing seam metal roof. The method that we are going to use is the one where we are going to convert the ordinary roof okay, to a sloped glazing. And then we are going to manipulate the sloped glazing by making use of the grids and the mullions so that we can achieve what we are seeing right there. Now there's one thing I just want to mention. If there's anyone who would like to learn Revit from a course from start to finish, it could be a beginner or even someone who's been using Revit but would like to master the whole process from modeling up to detailing on you know residential and commercial buildings, then I highly recommend that you check out this course. The link is in the description and also the first comment. There's a video where you can watch all the details about this course and I hope that you are going to like it. Without wasting much of your time, let me go ahead so that we get started with our tutorial right now. So as you can see from here, this is the roof that we'll be creating. As you can see, it looks very, very nice. This is the one that I created and this is what you are going to learn. Now, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification. That way you are going to motivate me to do even more and more tutorials and make sure that you put a comment there so that I know what you'd like to learn next. Okay. So let me go to the other view right here. I don't have the roof here, so let's see how we can create this roof. I'll go to the, the floor plan there. We just have the walls outside there and the windows. The first thing that you need to do is to create the ordinary roof that I talked about. To create a roof is very, very simple. Just go to roofs, click on the roof, then just click on yes. This is just the level where I want to, to have the roof. I'll click on yes. Then from here, you can pick any roof that you want to use. I'm just going to pick this roof right here because I already set the materials to aluminium, but it doesn't matter. You can pick any kind of the roof as we are going to swap with, you know, the sloped glazing. So I'll pick that roof. And what you are seeing here is just a name. So if I click on edit there, I click on edit. You see that that is the name of the roof. If I click further under the materials there, you see that I have set the material to aluminium. You can see that if I go to appearance, it's going to load here and I just picked, you know, aluminium as a material and under the graphics there, it's picking that color from this one. As you can see, still updating, but I will not waste time until it updates. This is the material and this aluminium, I already set it. So I'll click on OK, then click OK, apply and OK. So we are in the sketch mode because I already selected the roof there. As you can see, we are in the sketch mode. You can see the green check mark. What you are going to use is the peak walls. Just click on the peak walls. Then the overhand right there, 400 millimeters is okay for the overhand. I'll simply pick the boundaries like that. I've deactivated the, the slope. Okay. From there, it's deactivated. Then I just want to select these lines. Just escape from modify then i'll select these lines just leaving out this one then go to the slope there am i going to first of all make sure that you activate the defined slope we have the default slope of 30 degrees from here then change this one you can use the slope that you want but i want to change it to 25 click outside okay then after that i'm just going to click on the green check mark Go back to my 3D view, click outside. You see that I have the roof and that is the material that I set, which is more or less like aluminum. I'm okay with it. You can pick the material that you want. Okay, I'll pick the wall and ju just join to the roof by clicking on attach, then pick the roof, click outside. You see that it attaches. Okay, now the next step for you is to make sure that you duplicate this roof, okay? To duplicate the roof, just select the roof, which is there, then click somewhere there where we have copy to clipboard, click there, then you go to paste and make sure that you select the aligned to same place. So we have a duplicate of the roof, okay? You can't see it there, but make sure that you go to base offset. If I change this one maybe to 150, move my cursor inside, you are going to see the other roof on top. 
So now this is the roof we have to convert to the sloped glazing. I'll select on it, click the arrow there, then go down until you find the sloped glazing. Okay, so I'll pick the sloped glazing that is the one on top, click outside. So you see as if it's disappearing because it's a glazing as the name suggests. So you are able to see the other roof down there. But if you want to select, make sure that you hover the cursor there, then pick it. You can read from there that is the sloped glazing. Now, once you do that, go to edit type, then you can start now changing the parameters under the sloped glazing, as you can see. The first thing, make sure the curtain panel is none. That's fine. Go to grid, grid layout. That is the one you are going to start with. The grid layout is none. Make sure that you change to fixed distance. You can start, for example, with maybe uh, maybe 150. Okay, once you do that, you can go to now the mullions. Okay, if I go to the layout under grid 2, make sure that, actually make sure that the grid 2, just leave it the way it is, just deal with grid 1 and then grid 1 mullions. I'll go to grid 1 mullions, the interior, I want to pick the rectangular mullion 30 millimeter square right there. Okay. Then the border, first of all, I'll not, you know, touch the border. First, I want you to see what is going to happen there. So just click on apply. Give it a bit of time. You can see that we have the mullions. Click OK. Click outside. You see that we have the mullions, but they are going inside the other roof. So I want to offset this one upwards a bit. So I'll hover my cursor there, select it. And let me just, you know, change the the best offset maybe to 180 okay we'll see what happens move my cursor inside good as you can see it's now looking better okay maybe the spacing i don't want the spacing it's too close okay for for the roof so i'll select the sloped glazing once again click on edit type and let me just change the spacing under the grids to 200 click apply Okay, wait for it. As you can see, the spacing is okay now. Then click on OK and click outside. So, see that it looks good. The only thing that we need to do now is to apply, you know, there, the, the ridges there. Then on top there, we need to put a, a capping there. Okay, so I'll just orbit like this. Then once again, go back to my... Uh, sloped glazing select on it you can see it's selected from there then click on edit type okay so to do that make sure that you go to uh grid one mullions we need to change the border one type and the border two type so i'll click there and just use an l mullion then border two type i want to pick the same one the L module, and I can even pick the second one, doesn't matter. Then click apply. Give it a bit of time because it has to load. Okay, then I'll just click on, let me just click on did it. Okay, then click on apply and click on OK. As you can see, it's almost perfect. If I just orbit, I just need to delete what I don't want to see and do, you know, some cleanups here and there. Otherwise, you can see that it's almost there. Okay, so I'll just orbit this side and just delete this part here. I'll just hover my cursor there. Make sure that you hover your cursor there. Make sure that you select on it. If you're finding difficult in selecting, just go to tab, then select on it. Then unpin that one and delete it because we don't want that member, make sure that you delete it. Click outside, even this member, tab, tab, tab. Make sure that you select it. Is it the one I've selected? No. I'll go there, tab, tab, tab. Okay, let me try to pick it, okay. Is it pinned? Yes, make sure that you unpin it and delete it. Okay, what else do we have to delete? Just orbit. Okay, now I need also a member on top there, the ridge, okay? So what I'm going to do again is to select the sloped glazing, then edit type. Let me go down here and change the border one under the grid two mullions. I want to change the border only for this one. Let me again use the L mullion apply. Give it a bit of time. Just click on delete, then click on OK. 
Good. As you can see on top, I have it right there. Now, you don't be confused on number one and number two. Some of them are the ones which are vertical are grids, moodions, one, labeled as one. Then the horizontal one, they are labeled as two. That's why I had to use number two for me to have, you know, the ridge on top there. Okay, so you can see that we are almost there. Now, if you want to change the size for for the for for this you know the ridge on top there and this one here these are simply families which you can change from here you can resize them if i just go to under the families right there i can expand it and close it if i go to families okay then under the l moodion because i want if i want to change the size for these moodions if i go to this one click once right click then type properties you see from here i can change the thickness I, if i go down there i can change the the legs there maybe leg one and leg two if i want this one to be 140 i can do that go to the other one 140 also if you want to make it bigger you can you can go ahead and do that if i just apply you see that it reduces a bit the thickness is too much you can still change it from here let me maybe 30 we see how it's going to appear apply from there then okay click outside so i'm happy with what i have if you want to change the size for this one you can reduce the thickness okay so but make sure that as you change the thickness because this one it will start appearing if i want i can push this one down the glaze if i want this one to go down i can best offset maybe let me say one maybe 160 let me have move my cursor inside this is too much maybe 170 okay just like that okay i don't want to see it like that maybe again the thickness for this one i guess i have to increase it a bit i don't have an option here click there then properties maybe let me just leave it at 40 okay apply good as you can see it's now disappearing now you can go ahead and change what you want Mind you, once you just render, you are not going to see these lines that you are seeing. But at the intersection here, if you want to hide those lines like those, you can simply go to modify, then use the line work, invisible. Make sure that you pick invisible from there. So on invisible, then you can hide those lines. But if you render, those lines will not be seen. So don't even have to, you know, to worry. You can simply do that and hide those lines. Then I can move this one up and down. You know to achieve what i want so ideally that's why you are going to create your standing seal metal roof and you see that once you render it will look perfect so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you encourage me to do even more tutorials so see you in some more lessons in future